yourself. Don't even worry about all of that shit. Just keep it natural for him, I swear. I got a passion for you, I swear. I got attraction for you, I swear. Yeah. You think I'm a bachelor, girl, but I swear. You ain't get your masters, but I still breaking your back in the master bedroom, I swear. You sent a pick in them shorts, and I had to sing your caption like I was there. You the hood bitch of my dreams, sexy girl, you just asked for me. What's going on with all my billionaires out there? This the guy, Hoods Billionaire. Welcome to Hoods Billionaire TV. Big favor, big abundance on today's episode. We're going to be covering. Drake dropping a verse on Sexy Red, You My Everything, and hopping on the uh, Metro Bowman BBL Drizzy Beat. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So, Drake, so Sexy Red, man. Shout out Sexy Red, man. St. Louis song, man. Always love for the city. You know, even though I don't always agree with Sexy Red message, I know so many Sexy Reds. They actually turned out to be lawyers and, you know what I'm saying? uh pharmacists and engineers and i know bro like that's what i be telling y'all when i be talking about sexy red me being from st louis that culture i know women that are successful now but they was hood chicks in they time you know what i'm saying when we was in school and like that they were straight hood chicks mouth full of goals all that i'm telling you these chicks be that's what i love about my city bro we got some of the most like beautiful black women when they like grow and find themselves they be like bosses and they be having down to earth mentality but i went too far sexy red right shout out to sexy red um you know i ain't gonna never bash sexy red because she from the city man you know what i'm saying all love for her she came from nothing um, just drop that uh you my everything and she got drake on there and drake decided to hop on there man after the battle you know what i mean i'm seeing i'm not even seeing mixed reviews i'm seeing the exact same reviews i looked in the comments on her official uh youtube page and they weren't nice <laughs> i mean like they are on there flaming drake bro like drake is really get i did not see one nice comment on that whole i mean i probably looked i mean i ain't gonna i probably looked about 100 comments i didn't see one nice comment there wasn't one person that was like this go hard you know what i mean so let me just be real drake was actually on there spitting on there you know what i'm saying he had his normal drake bars witty you know what i'm saying riding a big good cadence um but they just not feeling that and then it's like oh this is how you know k dot won some k dot hurt this man the trajectory of his career so bad that now anything that you try to do he already then stomped on it and stepped it out and spoke to it so when you do it it look bad right he said when you stand next to sexy red i believe you see two bad bitches you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying that's that's real competition you might just pop ass with them like now when you hop on the sexy red song you know on that type of vibe that's the first thing people gonna think you see what i'm saying you can't run the atlanta and, and hop on them beat you know what they gonna think you know k dot kind of got drake in the box if i was drake i probably just would just lay low for a little minute i probably wouldn't release no music and if i did it gotta be a certified club banger that's the only way drake gotta drop a certified club banger because that's where k dot getting them at right now you know what i'm saying not like us it's a club banger you see what i'm saying they jamming that in the clubs it's a club banger you know so he need a, another club banger to match that energy and don't even bring kendrick up don't even talk about him just leave him alone you know what i'm saying don't even bring them up just just make a club banger you feel what i'm saying something that's gonna be hot for the summer and that's gonna have the summer on fire bro just by yourself you don't need no features neither like don't throw nobody else on there drake it just gotta be you by yourself you see what i'm saying um yeah i mean it's i'm not seeing like i said i even think he was spitting on there but it just wasn't the right song for him to be on after this battle and that leads me to this as i was saying um in my previous video right this is what i would this is what i've been saying when the stuff about vori the vori stuff came out i dropped an episode on there yesterday where vori was the one that wrote my ties and he got a reference track for it drake trajectory of his career not gonna be the same 
I've been saying this because everybody kept saying like, oh, Drake gonna be fine, Kendrick gonna be fine. I don't believe Drake's gonna be fine. Do I believe he'll still be a good, a big artist? Yes, because he dropped too many classics, right? He dropped a lot of classics and number ones and big hits, but do i do i see him going where he was going i don't think so i'm being real look at i'm telling y'all y'all saw them comments on there man they are bro they these people are literally out for blood on drake they uh kendrick did a such a good job of depicting who he wanted y'all to see drake as as somebody who not from america doesn't know black american culture was the which is the most lit culture on the planet the most influential culture on the planet he not from it he soaked it all up and he made a bunch of money off of coming and soaking up our culture and soaking up our sauce and, and, and presenting it to the world you know what i mean that's how that's how that's how K-Dot feel. You know what I'm saying? That's what... And because he put that out for Drake, that narrative, and it, it ties with a lot of the stuff that, you know, Drake is... How he is, does present himself and what it really is. So it's like because people can see that, they not giving them no leeway. They like, nah, bro. You know what I'm saying? This trash, that's trash. So I think Drake got to come with a club banger. Club smash, bro. He got to. He got to drop a club banger. And I believe that'll at least smooth it out. Where people be like, okay, Drake can still drop a club banger. Because that wasn't it. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. You know what I mean? You shouldn't even did no song with Sexy Red. Like, it's, yeah, dude. I, because I want to see Sexy Red win. Then, yeah. That's cool. He did a, a song with Sexy Red, right? But what I'm saying is that. He should have just did a club banger on his own. That's what he need. He got to find a way to get the people back on his side. You know what I'm saying? Show him you can do it on your own. That's what Kendrick pretty much saying, bro. Like, you can't do this stuff without no ghostwriter. You can't do this stuff without no going to Atlanta for help or hopping on the latest trend, the latest sexy red. Like, you can't do it without that. He's saying, I can do it without that. You can't. You see what I'm saying? So, Drake, you need to get with who well you know one one of the hottest producers you know you burnt the bridge with metro so we know you, you ain't going there go holler at 40 go get with 40 classic stuff get with 40 have them cook something up you know what i'm saying and drop a club smash and that'll get them that'll at least get them to where they back vibing with you right now the people is not vibing with drake and i believe it like i said he can't flop too much more or he can be Ja Ruled. I don't care what nobody say. Drake, Ja, y'all forget how many number ones Ja Rule had? Do y'all forget how many number ones Ja Rule had? I might do a video on that. Do y'all forget how many number ones? Ja Rule was hottest, the hottest of the hot. Before 50 took him out, Ja Rule was the hottest of the hot. All charts, all everything. Ja Rule was the number one guy. What are you talking about? platinum ja rule was the guy he was the guy 50 came altered the whole trajectory of his career he still get money he's still rich he's still ja rule he still got because he still got hits you know them hits he gonna always be able to perform forever you know what i'm saying but ja rule bro he, he was that top guy and he got taken off so we seen top guys get taken off bro that's not nothing new so we gonna see what happens man y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments man it's the guy who is being there big favor big abundance don't forget to like share subscribe like share subscribe this the guy who is being there big favor big abundance i'm gone